Let's begin with a word of prayer and we'll move right along into today's lesson. We thank you, Lord, for this time we have to learn and grow. We seek to do the best we can and add to what we know. We love you, God, with all our hearts and to others' love we show. Pleasing you is our goal, not to our lesson we should go. In Jesus' name, amen. All right, hello, boys and girls. Welcome to Heroes Modern School Academy. My name is Mr. Lan. I will be walking you through week number 20, day number three of third grade English curriculum. And that may be found, found on page number 100 of your workbook. So if you've got your workbook downloaded in front of you, please go ahead and turn to page number 100. If not, you're just welcome to watch on the board with me. The content is going to be there in front of you as well. So today we are going to be doing orthography. Orthography is all about spelling words being able to spell words when somebody speaks to you and vice versa as well. All right, so we are gonna do specifically sound patterns that certain letters produce when they are put together. Sound patterns of letters of O-O and O-I. So when you see these two letters put together, O-O like this, it's gonna sound like, uh, the long O sound or the long O sound, so to say. <laughs> it's gonna sound like so O O is gonna be like, for example, like cool over there. So that's gonna be O, okay? And I think the IPA representation of it is gonna be like that. It's gonna be like the O sound. It's not call. When you have two O's put together, it sounds like O, all right? Cool cool sound, ooh, like that, like the U sound. What about another word like tooth? Okay, tooth, when you have two O's put together like that, it's gonna be U, like the U sound. And I think the IPA form of it is gonna be like that, tooth, tooth, okay, ooh. So when you see O, O, just know that's gonna be ooh, okay, ooh. Ooh, can you say that with me? Ooh. All right. What about the letters O-I? So when you have O-I put together like this, they have like the long I sound. I. An example is going to be the word coil. So coil is going to be like the I sound, which I believe in the IPA is going to look like that. This word is R, this one is E, so when you put it together, it's gonna be OI, OI, COIL, COIL, sound together for you. What about the word voice? Okay, voice. So that's gonna be another OI sound, and in the IPA form of it, it's gonna look like this. Uh, voice, voice like this in the IPA. So that's an R, that's an E sound, so OI, voice, like a long OI sound just like that. So just take a note of those sound patterns. So you have O-O and O-I together. O-O will sound like O. O-I will sound like I. Core. Voice. Okay. Good stuff. Did you get something from it? All right. I believe you did. So please go ahead and turn to page number 100. There are going to be further exercises over there so you can master the content a little bit better. Thank you for joining me today. Remember, God cares about you and so do we. Bye-bye. I'll be your hero's body And as you study With heroes born I will be your friend you